Ah, hello everybody. Sorry, just doing a bit of vacuuming there. Well, I best put that away. I've got many more things to tidy up. In fact, I do need to clean the bath. It's looking a bit dirty. Anyway, yes, today what we're going to be doing is continuing with the farming, expanding the farm, and I'm hoping to actually do something a little bit different. Uh, well, when I say a little bit different, I mean we're going to be working towards something a little bit different, and that is replacing this or growing some lemons. Yes, there's quite a, a difference between them. I think I would be more inclined to go for the lemons though, today. £18,000 is quite a bit of money. Anyway, as you can see, everything is growing very nicely. All the fields are doing well, and we actually have one ready to harvest. So we're going to crack on with that to begin with, the one just over there. And then we're going to take down some of these trees. I'm going to expand this grass area so that I can create another field here. But it's not going to take up the space where I want to have the uh, the sheep. That will be over here somewhere, eventually. Um, so yeah, th these trees, you can see like a, a natural line here. Everything left of here should go. We need more arable fields. The trees over there are the ones that I'm going to use for logging. We're going to keep replanting them and they will be uh, just basically continuously renewed. Very renewable energy. I'll just put this over here. So yeah, we will be replacing that as soon as we can afford it. Okay, so here we have our trailer. I do have some seed on the ground there. I've accidentally spilt it. We'll put the trailer over at the side of the field and we'll get the combine fired up. This is not going to take long. But of course this crop is soybeans. Soybeans are worth quite a bit. You don't get much of them though. That's the only thing. It's not the most amazing yield in the world. But even so, yeah, it's just going to be a nice bit of income to start off today's episode. problem with a field of this shape and size. It involves a lot of turning around. Okay, so there we go. It was almost a full tank, which is almost 1700 litres, I think. So yeah, this combine is not going to be used again today. We shall put it back in the shed. Now this field, I think we should get it turned around immediately. So we're going to cultivate it. We're going to... Actually, no, we're probably not going to cultivate it. We can just direct drill it. Yes, we'll direct drill it, and then just leave it. <laughs> we'll fertilise it in a few days. And in case you haven't heard, I am going to be doing two survival challenges a week from uh, from now on. So um, every Thursday and Friday. Hopefully that's good. I've certainly been wanting to do more episodes of it. The only thing I've been quite conscious of is not wanting to progress too fast. I suppose there's not much chance of that. But if we do progress too fast, then, I don't know, it might start to lose a bit of the magic, because I absolutely love recording this series. Such a good map. So we'll top it up with what we've got in storage. That's 60%. And we have... Well, we add a, um, it's canola, isn't it? Uh, yeah, that's canola. But this field here, which I'm going to probably mistakenly call field 26 at some point, is, um, yeah, that's soybeans. Of course, everyone is... Field 26, we're in block 26. Now, the main goal at the moment is to get to £80,000. I think it's 80. 85, okay. £85,000 that we can buy a new area. Many people have suggested different numbers, different block numbers, so I have taken all of your 
numbers into consideration and I will do when we get to that stage. Obviously we're at £2,500 so it's going to be a while until we can actually buy a new one. But I'm hoping by getting things like the lemon greenhouse and the mill, which we'll be getting at some point to replace the old one, um, yes, we, we should be able to get there fairly quickly. Because if it is £250 per hour, you know, that, that's amazing. That is amazing, if that's 250 each as well. So I'm really interested in seeing how much of a difference we feel when we have a greenhouse which is generating that amount of income. Obviously, there's no point saying it'd be interesting to see how much we make because we know how much we're going to make. It's £250 an hour. Okay, it's so much better with this tractor. We have a bit of speed. We can still go further, but not yet. I think buying something like a fast track is a long way away. Okay, that's pretty good. 5,020. Not from that field, though. Some of it was. Still. I think it's worth it. So, yeah, we'll... Uh, what is that? Is that the hydraulic ram? <laughs> What's going on? I think it is. Wait a second. Okay, well, when we get back to the field, we'll tip the trailer and have a look. For anybody wondering, this field is going to be an oat field. I quite like oats because I think they, they yield fairly high and they're worth quite a lot as well. So if I was to tip this trailer, it's disappeared. Yeah, there we go. Must be a temporary glitch. Never seen it before. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, it's a good trailer though, except for that. I don't know why it's glitching uh, through, but anyway, it doesn't really matter. We'll put it over here. We'll get the drill attached to the tractor. We'll get the oats in the ground, and then we will look at the trees. We're going to tidy this area up. And of course, I need somewhere to actually place the greenhouse. I could put it where the trees are, but the problem with that is we don't currently have a stump grinder, um, so we might have a problem with um, with doing with placing it. Or I could possibly put it in here. That, yeah, that could be good. The only concern is, as you'll know, with placeables, if the ground is not perfectly level, you will be charged a terrain editing fee thingy, um, ground modification fee to level it. We don't really want to put the price up. Okay, right. What a fast turnaround. In go the oats. In the next episode, we're probably going to be harvesting all of the other fields. They will most likely be... Actually, they might have already. I might have to do a bit of fertiliser first. I do not want to miss out on the fertiliser because... We would only be covering the field once with the combine, but getting a completely different amount of money out of it. So I'll crack on with this. I think it's only going to take, again, uh, four or five minutes. Nice and easy.
Well, I think that's a good job done. I have done all of the fields. When we take a look at the fertilizing map, we should see that everything except for one of them has had all of the applications required. And the one which hasn't yet is the one which we just drilled. We can't do it yet because it hasn't germinated. So, there we go. Fully fertilized, maximum profits, all good. Let's get this thing folded up. We'll take it back and we're going to start the mass destruction. <laughs> Uh, it's funny you think that I hate trees, but I absolutely love trees in real life. I just, yeah, absolutely love planting them. I supported Team Trees. I did that charity sort of video thing where I donated uh, about eighty pounds, was it something like that, seventy or eighty pounds? Which actually is seventy or eighty trees. Now I have big plans, and I think, although it would look a little bit ugly compared to what it is currently. I think I'd probably get rid of most of these trees, certainly the ones on the right. Might leave these here. And then we would have all the trees that we need for making money from over there. This area here would be full of all the placeables, making loads of money from them, and also the sheep farm and stuff. So yeah, it's gonna be a huge transformation. I think we will keep those trees just directly behind the house, just because it looks good. And of course, behind my office, it sort of helps disguise it. But, oh no. I must have dropped some of my newspapers while I was um, doing my business. Right, okay, I'll have to make sure I clean them up later. What I'll do is I'll put this away in the shed. And I'm gonna get the chainsaw out, I'm gonna create a line, ooh, that's not gone well. Create a line of trees that I'm gonna take down. And we're just gonna flatten the whole lot in one go. Then I can focus on taking all those trees to the chipper and getting them all shredded up and we get paid for them. Okay. Right. So yeah, this is all for making a new field and also for getting the money to buy today's lemon greenhouse. These are the chosen trees. Now there should be like a natural track I did see a natural track in here. Yep, just here, sort of thing. It's not really a track, but uh, everything left of these. So we'll take these ones down first. I did also notice that our other trees, the ones that I planted, have started to grow. They are growing very nicely. Before I do a time lapse of taking these down, I will show you them. Now in the next video, I'm going to have to get a stump grinder. I have no idea how much money we're going to make from these, but we will see. Should I take that one down? I think I probably should. Need to get as much as possible from each tree, cut them as low as possible. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so we can see a natural division. Just have a quick run over here. Wait a second. What's that doing there? <laughs> I must have dropped that before. Woohoo, free wood. Free money. I suppose it's not free. Unexpected money. In you go. Right, we'll see how much we make from that. Probably only about £70. But even so, £70. £81. Right, these are my trees. I planted all of these. They are looking very good. But we probably won't cut them down until they've actually grown into a fully grown tree, like maximum height. So we get the most out of them possible. I have also put them quite close together. So we have space for more. We're going to put some more in here. But yeah, I, I think that's really good. Renewable energy, as I mentioned before. Right, let's take them down. Very quickly as a time lapse, I'll, I'll strip all the the branches off and then we'll get them all taken over to the chipper and we'll get paid for them and hopefully we get at least eighteen thousand pounds so that i can buy the greenhouse and we can make around 250 pounds per hour that's a good return 250 an hour they must be some expensive lemons
Well, there we go. All the trees are down, and yeah, we. Oh no, sorry, we, we still have one here, and uh, I'm about to sneeze. Achoo! Well, that was effective. So, yeah, all the trees are now down, and I have stripped off the majority of the branches, so it's going to be fairly easy to get them all logged up. The tree that never ends. It's a good tree. That's probably the best tree out of them all, actually. Um, yeah, so that has really open things up quite a bit. Look at that. And there must be a serious amount of money's worth of wood here. So, I'm sure you don't want to see me do all this in real time because it'll probably take a while. So we'll put it back on time-lapse. It shouldn't be as bad now though because yeah, the foliage is gone. In the time-lapse the foliage goes a bit crazy. It, it can be very hard to see what's happening. So I'll cut these up into good chunks and then we'll take them over to the chipper. And we'll get them sold. I don't know how long this is going to take, but yeah, a time lapse will probably be about a minute. Let's just watch that money rocket up. Right, okay, well that's enough of that for now. Uh, we have so much wood down there. We have hit £18,000, which was my goal for today's episode. So, I have to finish off these. I won't feed myself into there. There we go. And yeah, I think what I'll do is I'll get everything put onto a trailer for the next episode and we'll get it all put into there at the beginning. Yeah, loads. Look how much we've got. So that's pretty good. Um, but yeah. I think it is time to put the lemon greenhouse in position. Biggest problem is I don't know where to put it. I guess here is a good place, but I think it's quite big. I do just want to put the track in at some point, so we don't have to have such a big open area here. It's also very level. But yeah, that is pretty big. Very big. Now, I'm not 100% sure if you have to actually put the manure and water into this, but if you do, we can always buy the manure, and, well, we've got water here, so that's fine. Um, so, I think, oh, I don't know, it's a tough one. Where do we place it? Do we have space up here? Hmm. Wait a second, now I don't own all that. <laughs> yeah, I'll just put it over here. Yeah, that's not going to work. Looking at this, we actually do own the land to just beyond the shed, level with the rock. We could put it here, because that place is not big enough for a, a field. Then again, it may not be big enough for a greenhouse, I'm not too sure. Okay, well, I reckon we could, yeah, we could fit it into there just about. Looking at this, that is probably going to be the best place. And there's no terrain editing to do. Hooray! Might have to do a little bit of terrain editing just to tidy up where it has placed the gravel and concrete and stuff. But, yeah, no, that looks fine. That looks really good. Yeah, we're going to have to put the manure in, aren't we? Yep. So yeah, as I said, we'll get the water out of the pond and we'll have to buy the manure in, but that is fine. Um, yeah, we'll get it from the store. This is going to be quite interesting. £250 now when it's up and running. 
and that is going to be so much more than what the manure is going to cost. Now, of course, if we were to get cows in the future or pigs, we would have the manure. I'm aiming to get sheep. We're not going to get manure from sheep, unfortunately. Um, but you just never know. You just don't know where this, this series is going to end up. We may well have cows in the future. I seriously don't have pigs, but yeah, cows are a possibility. So, yeah, we'll probably only have the one greenhouse, because uh, obviously it takes quite a bit of time to maintain and keep running. Um, but it's going to be a fantastic sideline. It'll be really good. So, yeah, manure can go into the trailer which we have. We do have a front loader tractor as well, the Ferguson. Water. I would have thought, yeah, there is a £1,500 tanker which we can buy. So, all we have to do is sell a few trees and we'll be able to afford that. It's all looking good. Anyway, yes, uh, I'm hoping to do a bit of harvesting in the next episode, but we will see. We'll see what's happening at the time. Uh, it'll be the next in-game day. But I think quite a bit of progress has been made there. And we are slowly diversifying. However, this farm will stay predominantly an arable farm. The greenhouse is just a bonus. Just another way of making money. Just like the mill will be when we get that fixed. Okay, well, thank you so much for watching, everybody. Please do like the video, and until next time, see you again very soon. Bye for now.